I was born 87 years ago. For 65 years, I've ruled as Tamriel's emperor. But for all these years, I've never been the ruler of my own dreams. I have seen the gates of oblivion, beyond which no waking eye may see. Behold, in darkness, a doom sweeps the land. This is the 27th of Last Seed, the year of Akatosh 433. These are the closing days of the Third Era and the final hours of my life. Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Uh, if you're skipping ahead, uh, we are going to be playing an Imperial. We're going to be playing a Holy Knight, a Paladin, so heavy armor, restoration, destruction, all that fun stuff. I'm going to take a second here to customize my character and get him just to the point where I like him. I'm very finicky about this stuff, and it usually takes me a long time. So just be happy. I'm going to skip all that for you. Uh, and we'll jump right into this. Um, for those of you who are just jumping in now, we're going to be playing a Imperial whose background is he, he was a uh, farmer's son, a uh, farmhand, and after his family passed away, he struck out on his own. Maybe his, his dad died of old age or, or whatever. Whatever the situation might be, for whatever reason, he, he went out to adventure on his own. Um, that being said, he... Uh, ran across a some sort of crime happening. A bandit was breaking into a home and committed a murder. And my character just happened to get stuck in the middle of it, managed to escape or get away from the bandits or, or, or managed to maybe subdue the bandit somehow. But unfortunately, um, through a, a series of unfortunate events, was caught by the Imperial Guard and accused of the murder. So maybe the... Maybe my hero saw the bandit leaving the premises, and when he came back, or when he went in to investigate, he saw that the woman was laying there dead or something, and then the husband came home and saw my character there and assumed it was him, or, or whatever the situation might be. But uh, we'll, we'll just say that he was wrongly accused of something, thrown into jail, and that is the story. So uh, I'm going to pause the recording here. I'm going to go ahead and edit my character, and when we get back, we will jump right into it. All right, I think we've made our character here a little bit, uh, a little bit of your stereotypical um, Prince Charming, blonde, blue-eyed. Um, but I wanted to give him a little bit more of a friendly yet strong kind of demeanor. And I know a lot of people who have played Oblivion think, well, I mean, they all just look like potatoes anyway. And as much as you're right, this is the character that we're going to be playing as and all that stuff. But he is relatively young. He's probably in his 20s, uh, mid-20s maybe, early 20s. Um, so we're going to go with Surreal. Or Surreal. Uh, which means Prince of God, I believe. Surreal. Um, but yeah, we're going to go with that. And I think that'll be our character. Let's go ahead and get into this. So I'm going to do my best to be... Um, as cinematic or um, as, yeah, I, I, you know, I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and make this as pleasing to watch visually as possible. Um, but this is Oblivion. It's it's old as all get out. So 
Uh, that being said, I will also be doing a little bit of like, I don't want to say voice acting because I'm not that good at it, but yeah, I'll do a little bit of role play where I can. The problem is, is the dialogue options in this don't tend to match up to the replies. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'll do my best. Um, one final thing, uh, I chose to go with HDR when it, in the lighting options. If you guys know the difference between HDR and Bloom, um, let me know. I might switch it back and forth between the next couple episodes just so you guys get, uh, a good taste of, um, you know, the difference. Well, this sucks. Back in jail again. Oh, let's turn this down just a touch. I have a cellmate. Look at that. Oh, look. An Imperial in the Imperial prison. I guess they don't play favorites, huh? Your own kinsmen think you're a piece of human trash. That's not very nice. How sad. I bet the guards give you special treatment before the end. Oh, that's right. You're going to die in here, Imperial. You're going to die. Imperial criminal scum like you give the Empire a bad name, you see. You're an embarrassment. Best if you just disappear. Hey, you hear that? The guards are coming. For you. <laughs> Morris, lock that door behind us. Yes, sir. My sons. They're dead, aren't they? We don't know that, sire. The messenger only said they were attacked. No, they're dead. My job right now is to get you to safety. What's this prisoner doing here? This cell is supposed to be off limits. The usual mix up with the watch. I. Never mind. Get that gate open. Stand back, prisoner. We won't hesitate to kill you if you get in our way. All you, right. prisoner, we'll stand do. aside. Over by the window. Stay out of the way and you won't get no it. Stay put, sir. prisoner. Good. Let's go. It. We're not out of this yet. You. I've seen you. Let me see your face. You are the one from my dreams. Then the stars were right. And this is the day. Gods give me strength. What's going on? Assassins attacked my sons, and I am next. My blades are leading me out of the city along a secret escape route. By chance, the entrance to that escape route leads through your cell. And who are you? I am your emperor, Uriel Septim. By the grace of the gods, I serve Tamriel as her ruler. You are a citizen of Tamriel, and you too shall serve her in your own way. Uh, okay. <laughs> this is the emperor, and apparently his kids are dead, and now he's trying to escape the city. Why am I in jail? Perhaps the gods have placed you here so that we may meet. As for what you have done, it does not matter. That is not what you will be remembered for. And what should I do? How can I help? You will find your own path. Take care. There will be blood and death before the end. Oh, that's exciting. Please, sire, we must keep moving. Better not close this one. There's no way to open it from the other side. Looks like this is your lucky day. Don't try it. Just stay I'm out of watching. our way. All right. Now the game actually begins. All right. So for those of you guys who don't skip uh, through the videos or use the chapters, this is going to be pretty weird because periodically I'll kind of reintroduce the game Stand um, aside, to prisoner. people, especially in this episode. Um but that being said, you know, for those who do skip around, you guys might appreciate, you know, just a little bit of a recap of what you missed uh, previously. So, yeah. Close up left. Protect the emperor. The captain's down. This is <laughs> Protect the emperor. I got you. Beat him. I got him, guys. Don't worry. Grab one of these, and I will run through this as quickly as I can without, you know, skipping any of the main story beats. 
We'll grab some of these. Was that? Keep there's. Quiet. I feel like we're missing one. I un unmask this guy. He seems down. to be just some kind Don't of retin or imperial or, or s of some, you know, denomination of human. Um, although it does look like they there is the an elf here too. Interesting. Let's and the hood that we picked up is called a Mythic Dawn hood. We'll just pretend like he had that on the tag or something. Try to follow. I told you to keep out of our way. That's ominous. Okay, sorry. Here you must find your own path. But we will cross paths again before the end. I'm sure of it. Okay. Well, I guess we're on our own now. Like, I can't can't go but oops. We got some rats. Haha. -ha! Let's go. Um, so to talk a little bit about what kind of build we're gonna go with, I'm not sure yet. I don't know what kind of build we wanna do. Um, let's just go ahead and equip these real quick. I'll equip that. Pop him real quick. Bam! Look at that. Look at us. Burgundy linen. Okay. We got something other than the, uh, the shitty cloth rags that we're wearing now, I guess. We're still wearing crappy pants, though, so let's see here. Let's, uh, equip that. It looks better, I suppose. Uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and put that away. Um, so a little bit about what we're gonna be playing here. I'm not sure if we want to run with a, um, like, just sword and shield, or if we want to do blunt as well. We'll, we'll take a look. I've, I've got it set up right now for including blunt in this, so we will, we will see. Bam. We're not gonna just heat blast everything. We are gonna take some licks here just so we can uh, kind of get a feel for it. But, uh, real quick, we don't need we don't need that many. We can drop what is that? Fifty two, so we can drop twenty two here. We just need thirty arrows. Thirty arrows would be fine. Let's equip that armor. <laughs> we ain't got nothing for feet yet, but uh, that's all right. We'll we'll figure it out. And then, um, let's see here, we've got those potions of healing, we've got that sword, we've got that club, so let's go sword, club, and then three will be our fireball, and four will be our heals. Usually I put heals on five, so maybe I'll do that instead. But, uh, yeah, and then, I think, I think that'll be it for now. Um, let's go ahead and keep running. Run in, run in, run, run in, run in. Uh, and I'll try my best to explain things as we go on. We're gonna let these rats go along because they are friendly to us. Let's go ahead and switch this. <laughs> missed. Can't let. Ooh. And I killed the rat on accident. He would have been friendly too, but I guess I'm a meanie. We won't be using anything like alchemy. We won't be doing anything of that uh, of that nature. Um, let's go ahead and just melee these guys. Ooh. He did a punch. Bam. We want to level up some block, some heavy armor, get some of that stuff going, but we won't be doing alchemy. Uh, we might do sneak later if we decide that we want to keep uh, pressing on with the various stories in the game. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. Ooh, first try. Look at that. Bam. <laughs> Let's jump down here, grab this shield real quick, and equip it while they're distracted. Bring it! Get some heals in there. Combat heals. We'll grab this just in case. And I don't know if there's another one up here. Aha! I knew it! Gotta remember what my keybinds are on. There we go. Alright. Moving right along. Just grabbing everything as we move. Um, 
something I feel like I there was a secret in here that I wasn't aware of until recently. But I can't remember. <laughs> if you guys have played Oblivion before, let me know down in the comments. Uh, I'm always interested to hear what kind of builds people people have made, if they're interested in seeing new builds, or if they've always played the same build over and over again. I know I've played a couple different. I've done the stealth, I've done the, uh, the big brute of, yeah, one of my favorite things to do is just to make characters, um, and then keep trying them over and over again on different things, so. Um, I made, like, a shadow scale specifically for the, uh, um, unique dialogue with one of the characters later on in the game. Uh, some tan linens, pigskin shoes, we'll grab those, oil linen shoes, let's see which sho shoes look better. Uh, these ones look alright, these ones look alright. <laughs> let's see what, uh, see what everything looks like together. Uh, where's the, those? And the difference between the sandals, sandals don't look half bad. I actually don't mind the sandals, I think. I think I'm going to keep those. And then we'll drop all these real quick. Because we don't need those anymore. Alright. Keep on rolling, I suppose. We're going to keep the wrist irons for uh, for later. Like I said, we're not going to be stealthy. We're going to get in there. Attack this guy. Face, face our enemy. Bam. Destruction skill increased. Let's go. Well, let's get some healing in here. Uh, let's grab this mortar and stuff just because we can use it. Uh, you know, just in case. Just to have it. Just in case, you know, there's a... Ooh, I broke a lockpick. There it is. I finally broke one. Um, yeah, that will appear on my stats, I believe. Lock's broken somewhere. Pick's broken. Lock picks broken one. Look at that. And I don't want this guy to trigger the trap. I want to actually fight him. Because we're honorable. An honorable combatant. We'll use our magic at once. Ooh. Oh, and he triggered the trap. Ha ha. Oh, sh damn. That thing came fucking careening out at us. Unfortunately, blocking it doesn't do us much good. And again, we're not we're not gonna trigger the trap to kill these guys. We're gonna actually go down there and fight. I keep spoiling everything for you guys. My bad. I gotta let you guys just experience it. If you've you know, played this before. Let's, uh, let's get this melee guy. Ooh, we're actually getting pretty beat up here. There we go. Let's get some healing done. Lock picks, potions of healing. We might as well use one of these potions for our uh, spells here. Let's do our sorcery. Level up some of that restoration. All right, let's see. What do you got for me? Bam! Open up with one of those. A couple of those. Bam, bam! Easy. Easy mode. Playing on easy mode right now. Okay, so let's go ahead. We'll drop the club. We'll equip that to number... Oop, shit. Derp. We'll equip that to number two. And I wish there was a way to clear... Clear items from our... What you might call it, but there isn't. So, we'll go with, let's put fire on four, and then we'll put this heavy, heavy one on three. Might as well, let's switch, let's actually switch to that right now. Um, he's coming up at us. Let's get ready for him. Ooh. Get whacked, buddy. Get shabammed. Get slackered. Can't figure out which item I want to use. Boom, boom. Grab 
some of this stuff. And uh, you do not want to hit this person with the fireball here, because if you do, that staff will go flying through the air, and there's a good chance you could lose it. And that's a special <laughs> staff, so you don't want to lose it. I know I just said you don't want to kill them with a fireball, but hitting them with one, that ain't so bad. If you know you're not going to kill them outright, it's not too bad to hit them with it. Uh, let's go ahead and drop... Let's see what can we drop here. We don't really need the rusty iron bow for right now. Keep the iron mace and all this other stuff. Uh, we'll drop the tan linens, linen pants for right now. We'll, we'll drop all that stuff for right now. We don't need it right now. Drop the mythic dawn hood. Uh, give me just a second here to close some stuff as I am scrolling around weird on my other monitor. Uh, and we don't need any of this either. We don't need eight torches, we just need five, so I believe that's that. Alright, and then unlock this very easy lock. We're gonna take pretty much everything out of here. We've got a repair hammer too. Sweet! And then this guy's got a long sword for us. We're just under the weight limit, which is perfect. We do not want to be on that weight limit. We're going to drop our steel sword and equip that one right there. Looks beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Dropping shit all over the floor. All over the floor, I've dropped all of our stuff. Alright. Just moving. Grooving. Getting everything down here. Sorry, I was just checking my FPS values there. It drops for whatever reason. So give me just a second here. Alright, real quick. I'm going to make a save because I just had to exit the game and re-enter it because of my weird frame drops and stuff. Uh, and didn't put a save down, so I just had to catch up from not too far back. I actually managed to not break a lockpick on the chest that I broke a lockpick on. And then, like, later, like, just recently I broke a lockpick. So... Everything is the same. We haven't changed anything. We still picked up everything that we had in the last last version of this. But yeah, anyway, back Never into until it. Help arrives. Help. What makes you think help will get here before more of those bastards? Here they come again. The ah, do your work. <laughs> My blood for the empire. Let's That's get this. Ah. <laughs> Damn it! It's that prisoner again. I'm okay. I'm a good guy. Don't worry. Kill him. He might be working no, with the assassins. No, he is not one of them. He can help us. He must help us. I mean, he As like you wish, me. sire. You seem to hate me, bro. What do I do? They cannot understand why I trust you. They've not seen what I've seen. How can I explain? Listen, you know the Nine. How they guide our fates with an invisible hand. The Nine guide and protect us i've served the nine all my days and i chart my course by the cycles of the heavens the skies are marked with numberless sparks each a fire and every one a sign i know these stars well and i wonder which sign marked your birth um, so I have already thought about what I want to put my, uh, what, my what I want my sign to be. Um, basically, willpower is going to be how quickly we regenerate magicka and or magicka magic um, our our mana, and it also is governed by the or not governed but um, the skills that level up your willpower are going to be destruction restoration skills that we're going to be using a lot as well as endurance which attributes to your overall health and i believe how much stuff you can carry um i don't know if it affects the weight of the stuff that you're burdened by but um so essentially heavy armor block armor and uh, a couple other things are affected by uh, endurance now um, I don't know if there's a mix in here that gives you to, uh, steed is really good too um, and I thought about doing that just so we're not super slow but um, you know, I could do steed actually huh we'll pick the steed for now 
because uh, this will these willpower and endurance will level up as we level up because those are going to be the skills that we're leveling up. Um, so we'll go with the steed for now. The signs I read show the end of my path. My death, a necessary end, will come when it will come. And what about me? Your stars are not mine. Today, the steed shall speed your progress on the road to destiny. Aren't you afraid to die? No trophies of my triumphs precede me. But I have lived well, and my ghost shall rest easy. Men are but flesh and blood. They know their doom, but not the hour. In this, I am blessed to see the hour of my death, to face my apportioned fate, then fall. Can you see my fate? My dreams grant me no opinions of success. Their compass ventures not beyond the doors of death. But in your face, I behold the sun's companion. The dawn of Akatosh's bright glory may banish the coming darkness. With such hope, and with the promise of your aid, my heart must be satisfied. Where are we going? I go to my grave. A tongue shriller than all the music calls me. You shall follow me yet for a while. Then we must part. So this is the voice. Uh, the voice actor for Uriel, Uriel Septim is Patrick Stewart, if you guys can tell. Um, very, very noble and high, highly voiced. Um, you may as well make yourself useful. Carry that torch and stick close. Who are the blades? We're the Emperor's bodyguards. Our job is to get him out of situations like this. Although I admit, things are not going according to plan. And Uriel Septim? My job is to make sure the Emperor gets out of here alive, and I intend to do it. All right. Well, I'll keep this torch close, I guess. Stick close and let us do our job. Will do. Be all right. Not much fun. So our, our speed is you actually handled yourself improved. pretty well back there. Just keep out of our way. Got it? Hey, that's the secret dialogue right there. So if you actually do well fighting against the Mythic Dawn in that little encounter, he will actually like grow to like you, which is really cool. Speaking of which, let's be more helpful. Nice. Look at him. Okay. Just destroying him. Go, guys, go. I had to jump in there. I saw that the, the Emperor was in danger. Let's go ahead and equip our... Oop, we gotta do this real quick. Bam, bam. Let's equip this real quick. Equip that. Do some healing. You guys had to go all the way back up there to come all the way back down here. Good job, boys. I'll light the way. Come on. If you want to help prisoner, keep alert and let us do our job. Sure thing. The end is in sight. Watch your back, boys! Protect the Emperor! My sword for the dragon! My sword for the dragon! Ah, I got one! Nice! Nice! You guys are awesome. Doing all the work. I managed to get one, though, so that's good. There's no time to talk now, prisoner. We've got to keep moving. Hey, man. Maybe the Emperor is right about you. The best way you can help is to let us do our jobs and don't get in our way. Dude, yeah, that's so cool. Usually he's like, the Emperor may trust you, but I don't. Stay out of our way. Yeah, he's, he's usually an asshole, but we managed to get him to like us somehow, so <laughs> let's go. That's Hold awesome. Up. I don't like this. Let me take a look. What do you see there, man? I forget what his name is, actually. Uh, let's go ahead and equip that there. Looks clear. Come on. We're almost through to the sewers. Damn it! The 
The gate is barred from the other side. A trap! What about that side passage back there? Worth a try. Let's go. I don't like this. It's a dead end. What's your call, sir? They're behind us. Wait here, sire. Wait here with the Emperor. Guard him with your life. Put them down. Emperor. You got it. Oh my god. There's a bunch of people in here. I can go no further. You alone must stand against the Prince of Destruction Uriel, what's going on and his with your face? servants. He must not have the Amulet of Kings. The Prince of Destruction. Take the amulet. Give it to Joffrey. He alone knows where to find my last son. Find him and close shut the jaws of oblivion. You're right. I don't know what's going on with your face. No! You bastard! Oh, I almost fucking blasted him. I gotta grab that real quick. Gotta loot this guy. Oh, I'm over encumbered. Um, uh, hold on to that for me for just a second. We failed. I failed. The blades are sworn to protect the emperor. Now he and all his heirs are dead. The amulet. Where's the amulet of kings? It wasn't on the emperor's body. The emperor gave it to me. Strange. He saw something in you. Trusted you. They say it's the dragon blood that flows through the veins of every septum. They see more than lesser men. The amulet of kings is a sacred symbol of the empire. Most people think of the red dragon crown, but that's just jewelry. The amulet has power. Only a true heir of the blood can wear it, they say. He must have given it to you for a reason. Did he say why? He said I have to take it to Joffrey. He mentioned that there's another heir. Joffrey? He said that? Why? Nothing I ever heard about. But Joffrey would be the one to know. He's the Grand Master of my order. Although you may not think so to meet him, he lives quietly as a monk at Wainan Priory, near the city of Coral. How do I get there from here? First, you need to get out of here. Through that door must be the entrance to the sewers, past the locked gate. That's where we were heading. It's a secret way out of the Imperial City. Or it was supposed to be secret. Yeah, it's really not anymore. Here, you'll need this key for the last door into the sewers. The sewers? What's in there? There are rats and goblins down there. But from what I've seen of you, I'm guessing you're an experienced knight. Am I right? Pretty close. Pretty damn close. And I, I did that intentionally. I specifically just leveled up some knightly stuff, but... Let's go ahead and customize our own class here because, like I said, we're going to do our own thing. We're going to go Willpower and uh, Endurance. So this is going to give us a plus 5 to each of those. So we've got a plus 10 to our speed, or plus 20 to our speed, actually. And then we get a plus 5 to each of these. We might end up changing that down the line. We'll see what our stats look like before we exit the sewers. Um, but let's go ahead and move on from there. We've got Alteration is things like... Uh, Shield from magical, physical and magical damage and alter encumbrance. Open locks, breathe and walk on water. Hmm. Uh, blade block blunt. Uh, destruction. Heavy armor. Uh, we'll go with restoration. Mysticism. Absorb. Reflect and dispel magic. Move objects. Sense life and bind souls. And... Speechcraft, I believe, is our last one there. Um, so, alteration was that. Illusion. Mysticism. Let's see here. See, if I wanted to go alteration. Destruction. Reduce resistances to magic attacks. Cast to inflict magical fire, frost, and shock damage or reduce resistances. Okay. Restoration. Fortify or absorb physical and magical at attributes. Cure disease. Hmm. 
interesting interesting um yeah we're gonna stick with this and we're gonna dub this the paladin Ooh, let me capitalize that paladin and yeah I wasn't far off. In any case, rats and goblins won't give you any trouble. No, you weren't far off. Uh, just a little bit of magic in there, that's all. Traded that for some speechcraft and stuff. After the sewers, then what? You must get the amulet to Joffrey. Take no chances, but proceed to Wayne in Priory immediately. Got it? I got it. Yes, I understand. Good. The Emperor's trust was well placed. And what about you? What are you going to do? I'll stay here to guard the Emperor's body and make sure no one follows you. You'd better get moving. May Talos guide you. By the way, thanks for recovering my comrade's swords. I'll see that they are given a place of honor in the Halls of the Blades. You got it. That's why I grabbed those swords, was for that little audio bit. So, uh, we're going to get all these DLC cues here. Don't worry about that. We'll just ignore all that. Let's go ahead and loot everybody over here. Grab a Warhammer back now that we got those swords out of our inventory. Sometimes these guys will have potions and stuff on them. So I just wanted to go check that. See what they had on them. Sackcloth san sandals? What kind of sandals am I wearing? Sackcloth. Did you say scandals? No, sandals. I'm just dyslexic is all. All right. Moving right along and da 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 Gonna grab me some potions real quick and let's get into there. Boris's key. Let's open this up for him just in case he needs to come back through here. And down in the sewers we go. Alright, so like I said, we're gonna get all these DLC pop-ups right now. We're gonna ignore all those. There's only one DLC that I think we're actually gonna use. Um, at least that I will use on camera. Whoo! Jesus. Bam. Hit him there. Come on, you bastard. Ugh. Clotheslined his ass. I don't know why I grabbed the garlic chest then, but whatever. Let's go ahead and come over here, grab this chest, grab those lock picks. There's plenty of stuff popping up right now. Thank you, game. It's just what I wanted, just what I needed. Cheese wheels, lock picks, lots of arrows. Now, I'm not a big fan of what happens as you level up in this game. Um, eventually as you level up, all the bandits and creatures and everything else in the game also get superpowers and, and you start seeing common bandits with, you know, epic level armor and you're like, how, what, that doesn't make any sense. So, um, I'm not sure if there's a level cap I want to hit where, uh, like, you know, you might start seeing bandits in some steel armor, but, you know. We'll see. We'll see what the what the level cap is that we want to get into. But um, like I said, I'm going to reintroduce people who are going to skip this. This is going to be a long episode. This has already been going for about 50 minutes. So um, I'm going to kind of reintroduce people here. Um, actually, no. I think we'll just end the episode here. Uh, this has been going on for quite some time. It's been going on long enough. We've got a, a decent looking character here. Yeah, he looks pretty good. He looks pretty good. Solid. All right, let's take a look at our stats and everything. Um, let's start with looking. We've got only 90 health. We don't have a lot of health. Um, strength, 40, 40. Willpower. Uh, we might actually... We might actually take those 20 points back out and grab the lady's blessing here real quick, but... I'll do that all off camera. I just want to say thank you all so much for watching. If you've made it to the end of this video, I appreciate you very much. Please let me know down in the comments below that you made it down uh, that you made it to the end of the video. And if you did, the secret word, the secret phrase for today's episode is going to be torchlight. Um, so, however you can incorporate torch into your comment, that'll let me know that you guys made it to the end. As always, thank you all so much for watching. This is Mason Woman Seven. 
signing off one last time. I'll see you at Spawn. Love you, bye.